In January 1955, the United States began work on its first two-stage intercontinental ballistic missile, Titan. Developed as a hedge against the failure of the Atlas weapon system, Titan emerged as a more powerful missile with longer range and a heavier payload. As like its stablemate, Titan used liquid fuel, and there were problems, namely the inability to store liquid oxygen for long periods and the time-consuming fueling process. Solutions to these challenges were explored as the program matured. Titan flight testing began in 1958, and there were teething problems. Many test missiles failed on the launch stand or were destroyed in flight. Though disheartening to the engineers and launch crews, these failures yielded valuable information and experience. In order to speed Titan deployment, the Army Corps of Engineers supervised the construction of the first launch facilities as flight testing commenced. Three years later, in 1961, at Lowry Air Force Base, the first Titan squadron was placed on alert. Titan launch procedures took approximately 15 minutes. Upon receiving the launch order, the crew loaded the missile with liquid oxygen and RP-1. Once fueled, the missile was lifted to the surface by the silo elevator and fired. It then took approximately 33 minutes to complete a 5,500-mile flight. While the first Titans were in the early stages of production, the Air Force Ballistic Missile Division developed modifications to eliminate the need for liquid oxygen. Engineers found that with minor changes, Titan could use a storable, non-cryogenic propellant. This breakthrough allowed the fuel to be stored in the missile and sped launch time to within a minute of receiving orders. In addition to the all-new inertial guidance system, the missile could be fired in the silo simplifying maintenance and reducing the risk of accident. In November 1959, the Department of Defense authorized the development of Titan II. At the same time, it directed that Titan I be discontinued after six squadrons were equipped. Titan II was a technological step forward. The all-inertial guidance system, a storable fuel, and in-silo launch capability made Titan II not only more powerful than its predecessor, but safer from attack. From the beginning, Titan was a powerhouse. Its massive engines and tremendous payload capacity made it the backbone of American deterrence. Though it was operational for only three years, Titan I deployed to five bases and equipped six squadrons. Titan II had a longer lifespan. It was deployed to three bases and equipped six squadrons and remained on alert until 1987.